Hi, this is Daryl Webster with an update about OneNote. OneNote 2016, part of Office 2016, has received an update which allows us to embed videos into OneNote pages. This is great because it means that we can bring all sorts of media into a page. We can start to use it as a, as a whiteboard and also just play various um, pieces of content from the web. Um, it is using a, a list of uh, a short list of sources that, are, that have been approved for embedding into OneNote, but it is a good start. And so, what I'm going to take you through now is how to embed one of these videos from YouTube, and then we'll have a look at some of the other sources. So, I'm looking at a video, a recent one from the Microsoft Mechanics, so Mark Cashman is telling us all about Office 365 video. Um, at the moment, that's not one of the sources that's supported, but that's okay. Um, maybe that'll be in uh, one of the um, updates later on. Let's insert the video from YouTube, and we're choosing the Insert tab. This is in OneNote 2016, part of Office 2016. Um, insert tab, the online video, paste the link, and it's going to bring through that video. And, you know, at first glance, it looks like it's just a thumbnail, and okay, maybe... Like with some other programs, we, we can uh, click that and it'll open up the video in uh, the web browser. However, this is the cool part. Okay, so it's it's brought through the the link to the, the video. It's also got the title, so it's all got that source information of being able to go back to the source. Uh, but this is actually a frame. So if I click on that now, or tap it with my finger, um, I'm playing the video. Great, isn't it? Um, and... You know, we've got the, the size of the video, I can adjust the size, I can drag that out. So it is like a frame and it's going to adjust to the size that I that I make it. So this is really good. Um, it's not playing uh, playing any audio at the moment because I've got Mr. Cashman muted. Sorry, Mark. But anyway, it's um, certainly going to play that, that video. So let's just pause that. Let's go down and have a look at another couple of other sources. So this is an example of a Vimeo video, similar sort of thing. Um, I can play it, it's going to play with it. No problems. So, I mean, can you get the start to get the gist there that um, I can bring in video as a content and I can start to use this as a whiteboard. I can use it to, to collect um, video as sources of information and if I'm gathering research then I can put it all there and it's all playable from that one page. Can you see the applications for education, um, for bringing... Um, team members up to speed with various things. Um, it's really good. So another uh, source is uh, Daily Motion. This is just a video, a uh, drone footage of uh, the Shire of the Lord of the Rings just hovering over. Um, actually, one thing I haven't checked is what this looks like from a uh, OneNote Online experience. Um, whether this plays through the OneNote Online experience. So we can have a look at that um, a bit a little later on. So that's great, um, but here's where I think it gets really interesting. So we can embed Office Mixes. Now I thought maybe this is just going to play the video experience of Office Mix. That um, you know that's one of the things that it renders when you upload it, and that'd be okay. That'd be good. But what actually happens is it plays the full Office Mix experience. It gives you the actual player where you can advance Hi, through this the slides. Hi, this is Daryl Webster, Office well, 365 MVP from New Zealand. up there, and in this present. Heard myself enough. And I can advance through the, the various slides. I can go through and I can have a look at the, the different um, positions within the presentation. I can just jump through to it. So this is great. This means that I can bring in um, Office Mix with video. I can um, answer all those interactive questions that I can get feedback from students or, or um, a, uh, an audience that I'm training from a business perspective. Um, and it's all within OneNote. So imagine issuing a, a textbook with all this video um, and content that's been developed perhaps in Office Mix and you're getting all that interactive feedback as well from students as they interact with the, the notebook. Um, we can see that this works really well with um, all the advancements in OneNote for education and the uh, OneNote class notebook alongside that great add-in that they've um, uh, added recently for managing students and the classroom environment. So Office Mix, perfect to add to OneNote. What else have we been able to add? Sway, okay, so what does this mean? Okay, I look at a, a Sway and I've been able to add the, the URL to the Sway. Is this just a, another video way of playing it? No, this again is the uh, a frame which is going to load up the Sway full experience. 
you know, just like all the other frames, I can drag and, and make it larger or smaller. I can, um, you know, move it around on the page. But this is the full sway experience where I can play through it and I can interact with that content. You know, I'm able to open up those pictures uh, and put it into a full screen view if I need to from here. So this is great too, uh, being able to do sway. And this is, again, you know, <laughs> we're getting sort of overlaps and crossovers of the different kinds of capabilities. Do we bring everything into a sway and use that to present? Do we bring everything into OneNote and use that to present? Well, it's over to you. Um, use the tool that's easiest for you. And, you know, I might gather all this content together in OneNote and um, issue it to people to be able to interact with. I'm not embedding this content. It's playing from the source on the web, so that's just perfect. Now, just to close off, um, for those of you who are entering spring and starting to get excited about summer, and for those of us here in New Zealand uh, who are leaving summer and um, saying goodbye to that, um, here's uh, one more source, which is a vine, and this is a great uh, closeout barrel for a closeout of this uh, particular video about OneNote. Um, and we're playing uh, that from the Gold Coast. So thanks all for uh, for watching this video. Um, get really creative with adding the video content to your to your OneNote pages. I'm looking forward to seeing other sources like perhaps Office 365 video. And um, I think we have somewhere in the pipe there too, being able to embed office documents so that they are, you know, in their entirety, um, looking like or you are interacting with the, the documents in OneNote Online or, sorry, Office Online. So thanks for watching and, um, yeah, have a play.